Welcome to the enchanting world of Eldridge, where the sun sets in a golden hue over cobblestone streets. The clock tower stands tall, its brass gears glinting in the fading light. Join Alara Hawthorne, Finn O'Malley, and Luna Reyes as they embark on a journey to uncover the mysteries of the spirits drawn to this ancient tower. Together, they will explore the secrets of the past and face the challenges that lie ahead. Stay tuned as we delve into chapter two of this captivating tale. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Alara Hawthorne stood at the foot of the clock tower, her heart racing with anticipation. The cobblestone streets of Eldridge were bathed in a golden hue, and the tower loomed like a sentinel, its brass gears glinting in the fading light. Beside Alara, Finn O'Malley adjusted his goggles, a mischievous grin playing on his lips. Luna Reyes, with her long, dark hair cascading like a waterfall, clutched a worn leather book filled with local folklore. Her warm brown eyes scanned the surroundings, searching for whispers of the past. The trio had gathered in the shadow of the tower, each bringing their unique skills to the table. Alara's voice was steady as she declared their mission, to uncover what the spirits wanted and why they were drawn to the clock tower. As they ascended the winding staircase, the air thickened with the scent of oil and the faint echo of ticking gears. Each step resonated with the weight of history, and Alara felt a shiver run down her spine. The clock tower was not merely a structure. It was a vessel of memories, a bridge between the living and the spirits that lingered in the shadows. Finn, ever the tinkerer, began to examine the intricate mechanisms that powered the clock. His fingers deftly traced the brass cogs as he mused about understanding the restless spirits. Alara watched him, admiration swelling in her chest. Finn's resourcefulness was a beacon of hope, a reminder that they were not alone in this endeavor. Meanwhile, Luna flipped through her book, her brow furrowed in concentration. She whispered about the Watcher, a spirit tied to the tower, manifesting when the past was not reconciled. Her words hung in the air, a palpable tension wrapping around them like a shroud. As the trio delved deeper into their research, the atmosphere shifted. The clock tower, once a mere structure of gears and time, began to pulse with life. Shadows danced along the walls, and the air crackled with energy. Alara felt a connection to the spirits, a tugging at her very essence, urging her to listen, to understand. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the Watcher began to manifest more frequently, its shadowy form flickering at the edges of their vision. Fear rippled through the townsfolk, whispers of dread echoing in the marketplace below. Mayor Reginald Pritchard, with his stern demeanor, rallied the townspeople, dismissing the strange occurrences as mere superstition. Yet, Ilara knew better. The Watcher was real, and its presence was a challenge to her resolve. We must confront it, Ilara said, her voice firm. We need to uncover its tragic backstory, to understand why it haunts this place. Only then can we help the spirits find peace. Finn nodded, determination etched on his face. Together, we can do this. We'll gather the townsfolk, Show them that the past cannot be ignored. Luna placed a reassuring hand on Alara's shoulder. And we'll do it as a community. We need to rely on each other, to face the darkness together. As they prepared for the confrontation, the clock tower chimed ominously, its echoes reverberating through the town, a reminder of the stories waiting to be told. Alara felt the weight of her heritage pressing down on her, but alongside her friends, she felt a flicker of hope. They were not just allies. They were a family bound by purpose, ready to face the shadows of the past and illuminate the path forward.